Today, what I'm going to do is change the strings on my six string bass. I've had this bass uh, a number of years. I don't know exactly, three, five years or something. It's the same strings that were on it. And I don't know what they are. What I've got is, is a set of high beams, uh, 30 to 125. What I'm a bit concerned about with putting these strings on is if they're too floppy, too muddy. I wrote down a bunch of points here. Too twangy, uh, too bendy. Uh, they're supposed to be able to bend easier or if there's not enough low end or too much high end. So what I'll do is, first of all, I'm going to measure the strings. I'm going to play something with these strings. And uh, just so you know, I've got all the settings at the mid position. This has, um, this has bass, middle and treble control. They're all set in the middle. I'm going to do just one pickup um, all the way on one pickup. And then I'm going to do all the way on the other, just so we can compare. So now I'm going to measure all of the strings. I've got my digital caliper here. Uh, it's zeroed out. And uh, the sixth string is, hold on, 100. It says, right now, it says 130 and a half. Okay, that's the low B string. The E string is one, this says 100. The C is 32 and a half. All right, the interesting thing about this that I found is that not all of the strings are thinner. Um, the, definitely the, the low B is, is the thinner string. Uh, the, the outside strings, uh, this is definitely thinner. So um, we're going to have to see how this, uh, how this works. If it's, uh, I mean, hopefully it's, it, it's more balanced or something. We'll, we'll just have to see. So one additional test I want to do is I'm going to go play each of the strings just so that we can compare. And I'm going to do the same test after changing the string. Just right across there is where I'm going to play the strings. All right, I just got the first string on and um, boy, is it different. It's not, um, it's not smooth like the other strings. It's, it's kind of, uh, kind of like a very piano-y. So, so I'm not sure I'm going to like these, but um, I've gone this far, so I've got to put the rest on. And uh, hopefully I can get used to them. They're definitely, this is the, this is the low B. It's definitely a lot more, uh, pliable when you, you know, when you pull on it. Well, I'm wondering, did I really, should I have done this? Um, these strings are definitely don't have the, the same characteristics as the ones I took off. And uh, you can even see by the, uh, by the color of the steel. Uh, these are, these are kind of a, uh, a more silvery color, whereas the other ones I took off are a little bit uh, more goldy color. So what what I what I'm not getting used to yet is they're they're really they they really have got an edgy sound. One thing is that I I do feel a sense when I when I tone them down with the tone controls, it's possible to uh, you know play and and it seems like it has a little bit more definition. All right, so what I'm going to do with the new strings right now is I'm going to start with the uh, the bridge pickup. So that's that's all the way over on the bridge pickup. And this is what the strings sound like. Next, I'm going to do all the way over to the neck pickup. All right, so this time I'm just making sure I've got all the tone controls set right to the middle. And um, 
this time it's all the way to the bridge pickup with the new strings. Next we're going to do all the way to the neck pickup. So that's it from me this week. I hope you found that useful. And as always, I like to say, stay tuned and look forward to seeing you soon.